Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're doing another Kaden Life Q&A. Woo! Right, Dad, so a lot of YouTubers' intros uh, are movie, like text does a dance on the screen. Is there any way we could do that in Kaden Life? Okay, to start um, animating titles, let's load a clip here from our old uh, Final Stand video. Let's bring this clip down here so we can work on it. Then we want to add a title clip. And let's just go with these colors and the size, this font here. We can put something here and say Aiden and Dad's final stand. And so it works. I space bar it to there. And let's center it horizontally and vertically. That's it. Let's bring this down. And I'm going to put my cursor there and well that's a bit much to zoom in a little bit let's go to the beginning of this transition here so I should remember by default it's five seconds long and five seconds is about right for the intro so what I want to do is to start here very small in this corner with a font this title obviously Start very small, blow it up to this full size, stay here for a bit, then blow it up even more while going down to this corner, bouncing here, go up to that corner, going back to 100%, bounce there, and then disappear here. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, so right at the beginning of our five seconds which is where we're at now the only difference is we want to make this size one percent and you'll see it puts it right there in the corner just like it should now the next thing we wanted to do is to be in the middle here let's say taking a second to come here so let's do one second so now we are we want to add a keyframe there now we want to be at 100 percent and there it is but we want to do another thing and that is we want it to fade in for the first half of this leg so we want to go back now we want to go to around here since we do 30 frames per second so that means 15 frames is half a second so let's do zero there and 15 here. That'll bring this cursor of ours back to this half point mark. I'm just clicking outside the box to, to make that happen. I want to insert a keyframe there. And this is fine. We want 100% there opacity. So very vivid, but only 50% of the size. Well, that's fine. Then we want to go back to this first one. Now we want to change this to zero. So we want it invisible there when it starts and becoming more and more clear till about this point here where it will be at 100% visibility, but only 50% of the size. And then coming through here where it will be 100%. So like that, see there, nothing there. 50%, 100%. Okay, good. Now we want it to stay here for a second. So let's make it two seconds here. Another keyframe. And we don't want to change the thing. 100% there, 100% size. We haven't touched any of these yet. That'll come. Um, so let's say now we want to start turning this text so let's say another half a second further uh, let's do 15 that's another half a second we want to add 
another keyframe. But now we want to make this guy make half a turn. Let's see what will happen. See if I slowly drag it over to the right. See, it turns, turns, turns. Turns 180 degrees. So this year, if you divide by 10, it matches exactly the number of degrees. So now we totally flipped it on its head in this next 15 seconds. That's fine. And in the next 15 seconds, let's do... So... Again, 15 plus 15 is 30. That gives us oh, another minute here. So we're now up to three minutes. That's that mark there. We add a keyframe. And now we want to leave all this at 100. But we want to rotate it like this. How's that? Okay, that seems good. And now, but we still can't read it, right? So let's make it readable. Another 15 seconds further. Add another keyframe. And what will happen if we do this rotate? Oh, well, now it's back to being readable again. Just to demonstrate all the different rotations that you can do with text. Another 15 seconds further would be 4 minutes. Add another keyframe. And now we want it to be at 200%. Twice the size. And it goes a little too far here. There's no rules to what you can do here. You can do whatever you like. Okay, so we want it to stop there. And then... Add another 15 seconds. Add a keyframe at that point. Now we want it to go up to here, but first we want to bring it back to 100%. And then we want to move it over to this corner here. So let's just eyeball it where it's going to work for us. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's bring it in full view like that and then go to the last one and you see put it somewhere out of screen so let's use this to find it and we'll grab it there we'll bring it down here and let's zoom in again Just like that. You can fine tune it a little bit like that. So it's one percent, but it's still hundred percent opacity. So if we want to do the same as here, we want to go sort of in the middle, and this time we can just bring this back to what well, doesn't matter around there. We add a keyframe. This one is at full opacity, and then this last one. We want to make it zero again, so so it's to make it just disappear. Okay, let's just manually scroll through here quickly to see what it's going to do. Go to the mill, sit there for a bit, then it starts doing acrobatics. Flipping over, flipping over, and that way, going out to the bottom, bounce off, come back up, bounce there, 100%. And then it should disappear into nothing there. Okay. All we need now is some nice fast music to go with it. Uh, let's take... I think I've got something in mind here. This guy. And we can put it down here. I actually want to take this it's space out there. Bring this in back. Crop it back. And maybe 
be a little fade here in the beginning. Let's just say 10. Uh, that's fine. And a few there. 10 frames. And that's it. So now we have music and a title which overlays our video foot footage, our clip. I just want to show you as a last thing uh, an alternative way of doing this. Let's say you decide you don't want to overlay it with the start of your video clip. Some people like a total separate intro. So let's move it out to the front. But you'll see now the text doesn't animate. If you wonder why that is, it's about this here. This says auto, but there's no video to animate on anymore. To fix that, the easiest would be to choose this black option here. And you'll see now it does it on a black background. And obviously, if you want a blue background or whatever, just make a blue picture, a single block of color, and put it in the background there. So that is your intro. Okay. Let's just select all of this. So I'm, I'm just going to shift click out there, drag it down. Copy. Let's put it here. Yeah, well, let's drag this back here. Uh, actually, let's drag this off to here. Let me make this video clip a little shorter. Just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to copy this. Paste it there. Okay, let's move this over here. That over there. So this one records on black. Actually, let's make this a little shorter. I'm going to put this all together so it'll look like one video and this can go shorter as well and I just want to show you the two different effects uh, let me just see why is this oh, this must be either on the video itself or on auto either one will work so that's that one. This one is on black. And then it starts this. The only thing that we can do here different is to mute the sound while the intro is playing. So we can do this. And close it to there. But make it a lot softer. Yeah, 10%. So while the intro music is playing, this guy is soft. And this one can also mute a little. Let's just do 50%, so it's not so overpowering, or 40% even. Same here. Like that. Okay, go to the end, zoom it in. Let me see if that's close. There we go. Like so. Okay, let's render this. Okay, hold on. Let's see. See on the black background, and then the video starts. And this is overlaid on top of the start of the video. Alrighty. Right, so in that video, Dad taught us how to animate titles using the a scene transition. 
Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.